I mean, you know, the, the great thing about football is you do know at some point football is going to be played. Um, our fans dig it too much. Um, our uh, players love to play it too much. So we always thought that at some point there would certainly be a day that that football would return. The question would be under what conditions, um, whether our players as a group of men would have come back to football united um, and stronger, or, or whether uh, they'd come back to football in a fractured state where um, their health and safety isn't moving in the right direction, the economics aren't moving in the right direction. So, um, with respect to the economics of the deal, uh, we were in a, a model under the old deal where the shares of all revenue were decreasing quickly. <laughs> and, and the system by which player compensation was modeled uh, included cost credits coming off the top that players had virtually no ability to manage, reduce, analyze, shrink, um, and, and if you're in a world where those cost credits doubled in less than three years, and that after, the, after those cost credits are taken off the top, that's when you factor in the shares of, of revenue going to players, that's a model where you virtually have no control, no audited financial statements, um, but nonetheless you're stuck in it. Uh, what we have uh, today is a, is a band of compensation uh, that is unique, uh, I believe, in sports. It, it guarantees to the players higher percentages of television revenue. It includes a floor uh, of all revenue that we can never drop below for 10 years. And um, it also includes a ceiling that allows us uh, to share for up to 48.5% uh, of all revenue. And, and for that, the security, the predictability of the deal is important. But at the end of the day, our guys love to play this game. And to repeat something that I said um, a long time ago, it is a blessing that our players love to play this game. Um, at the same time, sometimes it can be a curse that our players love to play this game. Um, over the last two years, what we have tried to do is, is to say it is okay to love and to want to engage in something that's a passion, but, but as you do that, um, the, the fact that the game can be profitable and, and fun doesn't make it mutually exclusive from being safe um, and taking care of you for when the days uh, of playing are over.